Hi everybody, I am here today to film the Shopaholic tag. I've seen it going around YouTube. Um, it seems to be pretty popular. It was started, I believe, by, her name is, I think it's Alina or Alana Robin. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong if you ever watch this. Um, but, so I wanted to do it as well. So, we'll just get started with it. The first question is, would you consider yourself a Shopaholic? Um, I guess... I'm going to answer probably very similarly to a lot of girls, yes and no. I love to shop and I like love to go buy things and I love to spend money, but I also really like to save my money. So more of like a, I, I'm a saver and then a shopaholic if that makes sense. Like I'll save up for a while and then I'll go buy something that I really want. Something that's, you know, like a little more expensive or a little bit nicer. I do feel like I tend to pick up little cheaper things along the way. Um, but I generally try to save up my money if I really want to buy something, especially if it's something expensive or important. Um, next question, how would you classify your style? Um, I don't know exactly, kind of girly, kind of classic, probably more sort of like, my julep maybe box is classic with a twist, and I guess that's kind of what I'd describe my my style as. Um, my favorite store is J. Crew. If I could have my whole wardrobe be from J. Crew, I would. You know, button-up shirts, cardigans, sweaters, pencil skirts. That would be like ideal. Floral dresses, like stuff like that. But um, I don't know. I kind of dress a little bit more simply. I would say than that. I'm a big fan of just like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or a sweater and like pixie pants because <laughs> it's comfy um but so there's kind of my how i classify my style what store can you not leave without buying at least one thing i'm gonna have to agree with almost everyone and say target um i, I there's been a, usually i go i have a purpose usually it's to buy some sort of groceries or some sort of like home thing that i need or like you know i need shampoo or i need toothpaste or i need to go and buy dinner like that's generally why I go but sometimes I have gone just with friends or whatever I'm like yeah sure let's go to Target I always get something whether it's like something from the clothes and accessories or whether I go buy more food or pop or you know or if I just go to Starbucks because that happens a lot too <laughs> um and then where do you find the best deals if we're considering like clothes wise I would probably have to say Target again all the other things I feel like have been getting a little bit more expensive recently. So other than Target, I really like, I know it's not that cheap, but J. Crew Factory, they're um, online. They have like actual stores too, I believe, but online is the best. Um, and they often have like coupons and things. Uh, so it makes it a lot cheaper too. So it's basically the same J. Crew things that you could buy at a J. Crew store, but just a lot cheaper. And they're like the same quality, they're the same things. Maybe they're just last season's qu colors or a different you know, like something slightly different with the way the stripes are made on this shirt or whatever. They're very, they're like the exact same clothes you'd find at a J. Crew store, just for a better deal. So, I enjoyed that a lot as well. I've only ordered from there a couple of times, but um, I love everything that I got from there. Um, what designer are you willing to splurge for? I have to say Kate Spade. Um, I've bought a few like designer bags throughout my time, but I think the most money I've spent on one was my Kate's bag crossbody bag, and then I also bought a little like a little card wallet and then a coin purse to go with it as well. So and now anymore, anytime I'm looking at like buying something, you know, designer item, I want something from Kate Spade. I, I already want a few more things, but I'm trying to hold off for a while. Do you have a go-to shopping outfit? Um, I'd say it depends on the season, so I know I always try to wear shoes that are easy to take on and off, but if it's in the winter, I'm often wearing boots and I can't really do anything about that. But you know, flats or sandals or flip-flops or something. And then I always wear a tank top, but I, just, I basically just always wear a tank top, so no matter what, whatever clothes I'm going to wear or whatever um, I'm already wearing, I'll probably be wearing a tank top. But I make sure that in a good bra, and then just use a, a comfy top and, you know, like leggings because they're easy to slip on and off. Uh, what is your guilty pleasure? It says not including makeup. Um, my guilty pleasure for buying things would most certainly be makeup. I'm always like, I'll just pick up this little thing. <laughs> Whatever. Um, if not makeup, I don't know. I would have to say bracelets. Either bracelets or scarves. I feel like I tend to buy those the most out of like 
other sort of items. I don't know, clothing, I don't know. I don't know, probably bracelets or scarves, which, yeah. Anyways, and then what is one staple clothing piece you cannot live without? Um, as I mentioned before, probably both my, well, my tank top, my black tank tops for sure. I have quite a few of them, and I wear them basically every single day. Sometimes I'll wear a different color, but it's basically always, sorry, I just keep messing with my hair. It's basically always um, a black tank top, and then also my J. Crew pixie pants, because they're really comfy. Um, what is one trend that you hope never goes out of style? Going back to the pixie pants, I hope like skinny pants, especially like skinny like jeggings or legging pants don't go out of style because they're just so comfortable. That's so much better than wearing like an actual pair of jeans. Um, I have not worn actual jeans in a long time. I have like, like jegging jeans. They have pockets and they button up and everything, but they're just stretchy and much more comfortable. So I'm gonna have to go with that because they look cute. You can wear like um, cute sneakers with them or you can wear boots or flip flops or nice sandals or flats or heels, whatever, and it all goes. Whereas if you're wearing like a little bit like, you know, like flared jeans or like straight leg jeans, that's harder to wear with like boots or things like that. But that's just my opinion. Um, what trend did you love that passed way too quickly? Should have looked at these before. Um, that's a really good question. I don't even know. I actually might have to go with um, the hair feather things, and I know that they're still like around. Like you can still find them, but I feel like they passed from being like fashionable and like for like you know women or like young women or whatever like women young women teenagers to being for like small children really fast um i don't remember when i had them was if it was last summer or if it was like last last spring i don't remember at all but when i had them i had them for a while i didn't get it for a while because i was like i don't know but i just got a subtle one like back here and it was like my favorite thing ever because i'm not one to dye my hair but it gave me the opportunity to you know try some color out so try something different out without it being super permanent or damaging my hair or anything so if those came back I would not be too upset I would probably throw a couple into my hair for the summer or whenever um, and who is your fashion icon um, as I mentioned before I might have to go with just like the J. Crew website catalogs models I just love anything in that realm of stuff um, but beyond that like an actual person I would say Kate Middleton, just she's got the perfect like classy put together style. I just, I don't know. That's the kind of style that I would like to have as I grow older. Um, I'm working on integrating those sorts of pieces into my wardrobe. I just don't have the budget, clearly, especially to shop like Kate Middleton, but let alone to shop at just J. Crew. But so I'm hoping to work on evolving my style throughout the next you know few years whatever time it takes but yeah with that um that concludes this video if you filmed the shopaholic tag um let me know i would love to see it if not just leave your answers down in the comments below and i would love to read them and respond to them and yeah i think that's it thumbs up this video if you enjoyed watching it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos i will talk to you later bye